snow covers the island in white. The sea has been empty for a while. The few fish that had been caught have left the Yellow Sea. However, it is still the home of many. Waves echo throughout the island. We can hear the chatter of the islanders if we listen closely. Winter separates the island further from the mainland. It is a mere 50 minutes from the shore of Incheon by a clipper. However, it is a two hour and 40 minute ride on a normal ferry. We have to take a regular ferry during the winter when clippers don't sail. The island is none other than Tokchok Island. Ongjingun consists of 100 islands of various sizes. Tokchok Island is located in the center of the cluster. It is well known as a natural reserve. It gets packed in the summertime but is empty during the winter. Ferries get canceled almost every three days due to storms, making it difficult for the islanders to come and go. Tokchok Island means that it has coastal waters as deep and wide as a man of virtue. Sapori Beach is the pride of Tokchok Island. The sight of the white beach stretching out to the far distance refreshes the mind. The sound of waves has replaced the hustle bustle of summertime tourists. On the opposite side of Chiri lies Pungni, which was once the biggest fish market in Incheon. A seasonal fish market for croakers was held at Port Pungni till the late 60s. That was the golden age of Tokchok Island. Traces of the fish market still remain in Pungni. This two-story house, a former sign of wealth, is one of them. Ship owners were rich enough to store money in burlaps at home. However, as fisheries became exhausted in the 70s, the wealth of Pungni started going downhill. The glorious days are over. Nevertheless, memories of the good times now inspire hope in the people of Pungni. A village community called Udum Shil community was formed in Pungni last year. It was named after Udimshil Valley, where Akabia or Korean bananas grow. This valley, untouched by human hands for over 30 years, is full of wild greens. 
우선 봐요. 여기 이게 달래야 이게. 이게. 풀을 이렇게 살짝 보면. There are over 40 different wild greens, including wild chimes, bracken, and bog rhubarbs. 그보다 더 치고 있으니까. We soon see wild chimes that are known to grow as tall as 60 centimeters. 여기는 눈 감고도 달래를 캘수 있는데요. 눈 감고 지금 언제 달래 다른데 사람들은 달래 캘 생각도 못할 때죠. 많으니까, the village community is preparing the valley for a wild vegetable tour to start next spring. The villagers are struggling with the vines all winter to pave a road and allow sunlight to reach wild vegetables that are underground. The most active participants in the project are returning villagers. <laughs> 돈 벌겠다는 욕심도 마음으로 내는 건 아닙니다. 나이 먹고 고향에서 고향 분들하고 같이 어울리고 또 동네 발전을 위해서 열심히 하다가. It is an exceptionally cold winter, but the village community project is seeing much progress. It is because they found new hope. A party is held in the afternoon. The freshly picked wild chives take up a corner of the table. The wild chives are mixed in sweet and spicy seasoning. They are also used to make marinade. Todok. Fresh from the mountain will be marinated in a spicy sauce and grilled. Next spring, people who visit Tokjok Island will be able to taste these freshly picked wild vegetables, and they will remember the scent of the island. The islanders can't wait for a spring to come. A new passenger ship started stopping at Chidi Passenger Terminal a year ago. It's the Nare, commandeered by Captain Song Jin Ho. Nare can transport 120 passengers at once. It stops at the islands of Tokjok Islands once a day. It starts at Tokjok Island and stops at Mungap Island, Kurap Island, and other islands back to Tokjok Island on odd number days and goes the opposite way on even number days.
The Tok Tok Island is an archipelago that consists of 40 islands. The islands spread out, almost touching one another, but separated by the sea. Nare is a bridge that connects them all. The ship also connects the hearts of people. The islanders are used to the feeling of longing. However, it has gotten better thanks to Nare. The ship is full of welcome news being taken to the islands. Most important of these are the well-missed faces of loved ones. Nare, the ship that brings people together, heads for the next island. Captain Song knows how the islanders feel more than anyone else. It is because he's from Pega Island in the Tokjuk Archipelago. The islands of Tokjok are filled with sights and stories. These rocks contain a love story between siblings. They can look like two rocks or three rocks, depending on which direction you see them from. Although not far away from the metropolitan area, there are many unknown beautiful sites near Tukjuk Island. The ship is now headed to Pega Island. It's the hometown of Captain Song jin -ho. Captain Song jin -ho used to operate a passenger ship on the coastal waters of Incheon before returning to the islands. A warm feeling spreads throughout his heart every time the ship docks at Pega Island, as if returning to his mother's embrace. It is a joy for him to bring good news to his hometown day after day. The coastal waters of Pega Island often have high winds. Not everyone has the skills or patience to fight the water with huge ebbs and flows every single day. They safely sail through the storm once again. It may be because he feels sorry about leaving his hometown when he was young. He is now back and shows stronger affection than anyone else who returned.
another day comes to an end safely. Nare will leave from Tokjok Island again tomorrow to connect the islands and people with one another. People are known to leave their hometowns only to return. The stories of returnees warm our hearts in the Winter Island.